Alright, hi guys. Today exercise we're going to take a look at the ATS. Alright, ATS schematic for two power source. We are going to alternate two independent power source through ATS uh, working uh, principle. Okay. Alright, now let's start from this portion. I have with me here my power circuit. This is my power circuit. This is mains. Right, this is utility supply, and this is the standby supply that is gen set. And the gen set now has to be diesel generator, all right. Three phase generator supply is this one, then this is mains, the utility um, national grid supply. All right, now this is an interlock device to interlock these two particular contactors. When this contactor is energized, this one will be disabled. When this one is energized, this one will be disabled. Any of the two that is being energized, my output is here. So I use this uh, pilot lamp to illuminate the load symbol. All right. So any of these two that is being energized, I will have output here. So this is my load to the supply, to the house or to the factory. All right. All right. Now um, I have two schematic here. Here is my standby control circuit. This logic belongs to this supply. This uh, standby. All right. Now, this other logic here is for my utility, that is my mains, okay? Then this one at the center here is my remote start, my start signal for the gen, gen set. This is DG remote start, that is customer start signal, okay? All right, so let me now walk you through on the um, operation sequence. So what we're going to do now is to uh learn how to operate this then the next exercise i will be taking you through the design approach we are going to design it from the first logic from this other logic to the end of this particular logic okay all right now let me walk you through the operation sequence let's simulate but before then i will just uh, introduce the logic and uh, the symbols okay so this is my emergency push button this is also an emergency push button and this the emergency push button cut across this other and main supply and the star signal and also this particular uh, standby uh, logic so once you engage this once you activate this uh, emergency push button one two three will be disabled so you cannot start the chain and the power cannot go in the generator cannot also start then the mains cannot also go in like the function of this now when this one is okay enable then power come from this supply from this other end, this um, um, my standby, that is me, my uh, coming from this other end. So it comes to uh, push button, from push button to MCB single pool, from MCB to my um, salator switch, okay? This salator switch is enable you cut off the logic, cut off the supply while carrying out your maintenance. That is the essence of this, all right? Then from there, there's what we call phase failure. You know, in generating set, it's supposed to have a three-phase supply to your load. If one phase is having issue, there is a phase failure, this device will not enable this, the contactor to close. So you should come and now rectify why the three-phase is not complete. That is the sense of putting this phase failure. When the, all, when the three phases are complete, you are going to have output from this device. Okay. Now the supply now go to my timer. The timer start counting. When the preset time elapses, like a few seconds, because once you put on the gen set, you're expected to allow the gen to run for a few seconds before you engage a load. That is to enable the moving machineries and the oil to penetrate all the moving uh, mechanisms, all right, before you now give a load to a generator. That is the right principle of using a generating set. So that period of time that you allow oil to lubricate the mechanism, that is one, what this timer is responsible for to delay for the oil to spray within the engine before it now closes this contact and this contact come to this relay. This relay is having this um, contact, sorry, this relay is coming from here. It's coming here. It's coming from the men's logic. This arrow one belongs to men's logic. So when men's logic is not active, there is no supply. This place will have closed circuits, so you come to this relay. Then this relay energizes this other um, um, contact to this contact you get an interlock, auxiliary interlock, and now energizes my contactor. Pay very good attention to this. A timer must not energize a contactor because this, a time, this timer sometimes it will be fragile due to some um, electronics component. So some component, some timer that 
uh, that are integrated to component is very sensitive to uh, inductive load. And this contactor coil is an inductive load. So a timer is not expected to feed an inductive load direct. It should feed a relay. So it's feeding this relay. And this relay, this particular relay now feed my contactor, okay? So contactor closes, I now have power here. So let's see if we can simulate very quickly. All right, I have my load now, okay? My timer is now counting. This one is showing that there's power from my uh, standby supply. After five seconds now, when you press it, look at it, I have load now. So this timer is set to five seconds. After five seconds, this contactor will get energized by doing this one, K2. Then you have output here, all right? Now, if this one is on now, you are using your gen set and the national grid now restore power. Let me restore power here. Now, national grid is up now. Now, this one will start counting five seconds again to stabilize the supply. So, uh, so now, look at it, now cut off. We're going to cut off. We cut off this lens and now take over, right? That is the function of this particular uh, device uh, design, okay? So the subsequent um, um, exercise, we are going to design it from the scratch. We are going to design this particular circuit from the beginning here. This is how it works. This logic and this logic does the same function. Different between them is that this one is going to be master. You make the mains master. That when the master is available, it should knock off the standby and take over. Okay? All right. So this one should be master and this one should be slave. So that is why this arrow 2 belongs to this relay, okay? All right, so the next exercise is to design from the beginning to the end of it, all right? All right, so if you want to be part of this particular uh, skill, you want to invest in your career, automation-wise, control system, and so on, is all what I am into, all right? So this is my contact number. You can contact me if you want to invest in control system, automation, and the industrial motor control. All right? Okay, contact me on this. Thank you very much.